You might have heard of the term genetic testing, but what does it all mean? So Gavin, what can we actually test for these days? Probably the commonest thing is during pregnancy in the first trimester, many couples, probably most, are now screened for Down syndrome. And that is from a genetic revolution that's happened in, within the last 10 years. You can go back a step and test embryos before they're even implanted, and that's an IVF te technique called PGD. And that can test for the same kinds of things like Down syndrome and other chromosomal conditions like that. But some people go even further back and you can test for other single gene disorders if they have a family history or they have a particular concern. So if a couple is struggling to get pregnant, can genetic testing be used to help them work out maybe why that pregnancy is not taking? Many couples may have what we think of as unexplained reasons why they're struggling. And sometimes that is because the genetic quality of the embryos is abnormal, usually from chromosomal um, abnormalities. Now I imagine with genetic testing, there's a lot of ethical debates that are going on. What are some of the main ones at the moment and what do you have to say on those topics? If you tested chromosomes, you always get information on the sex of those embryos, male or female. And uh, whether um, individuals should be able to choose that is a big ethical dilemma, which in some countries they've allowed that to go ahead. In Australia it's currently illegal. And then there are other conditions which um, will become possible to screen for, like cystic fibrosis, um, and whether it's a good or bad idea to be screening out embryos for those conditions. Currently it is, it is individual choice. But I think that is a fascinating thing for society to think about. And in terms of where we're going in the future with genetic testing, where do you think we'll go to next? For people who think of doing genetic testing, I would still think of it as more specific, wanting to exclude specific things. Maybe they have a family history, maybe they're having reproductive problems, but it's not a test for normality to to can we make a normal child. All you can do is exclude some things, and I think that's a key. Message. And we can't do designer babies yet. Not just yet. <laughs>